Minecraft Dungeons Jungle Awakens is here, and with it comes a handful of new unique weapons and armor. Hello folks, my name is Kodiak, one half of the team behind Legion Gaming, and today I'm showcasing all the new additions and revealing their locations so you can collect them all. In all, a handful of new items have been added to the game with the Jungle Awakens DLC. While it wasn't a revolutionary patch by any stretch, it's a chance to dive back into Minecraft Dungeons, collect some new loot, and experience three new levels. Before we talk about each piece of gear, I want to say we'll be diving much deeper into the specifics in our item guide series. Now we'll start off today's video by talking about the Shadow Walker armor. This is a unique variant of the Ocelot armor and a great piece of gear that combines some mobility with survivability. The armor speeds up a player's roll while also giving them some invulnerability during that roll. In combination with the reduced damage effect, players rocking the Shadow Walker armor are in great shape to survive the terrors of the jungle. If you're looking for the Shadow Walker armor, you'll find it in the dingy jungle or the overgrown temple. If you're geared to the teeth, I recommend speedrunning overgrown temple. There are plenty of chests to collect, as well as the last boss you can farm, which is probably the best way to search for the Shadow Walker gear. Next, I thought we'd look at the Vine Whip. This is a completely new type of weapon in Minecraft Dungeons, and although we previewed it here on the channel, we finally have one in the official game to show off. The new Whip weapon is definitely interesting, and while I don't think it'll change any metas or be anyone's go-to weapon, it's definitely fun to run around the jungle and crack skulls with a Whip. The Vine Whip has a nice poison feature baked right in, which can help chip away at the health of tougher opponents. But honestly, I think the effect needs a bit of a buff. The Vine Whip as a whole is powerful, but speed is definitely a drawback and could slow down players that are looking for a bit more out of their weapons. If you're hunting for the Vine Whip, you'll need to look in the Dingy Jungle or Panda Plateau. We actually released a short video showing players how to track down an obsidian chest in Panda Plateau, so check out that video for a fast method of farming for new loot. Now next up, I thought we'd talk about a really interesting new type of ranged weapon, the dual crossbows. Of course, we've seen this type of weapon in games like Diablo, but there's just something about the setup that's really satisfying. With the Jungle Awakens DLC, the Mojang team added two unique variants of the weapon, and the first is the baby crossbows. I will admit I'm not wild about the name or the look, but the weapon is effective and there's no doubting that. The baby crossbows have the same effect as the bone bow where the projectile grows in size until it hits a target. Because the dual crossbow fires two projectiles, the growing effect is surprisingly efficient, and while it's still not the best effect, it works, especially in combination with the faster attack speed of the weapon. Now the other unique is the spellbound crossbows, and these function the exact same way as the baby crossbows except for the unique effect. The spellbound crossbows do more damage against enchanted mobs, which is not a bad effect considering how many enemies are jam-packed into the Jungle Awakens DLC. I mean, seriously, compared to some of the original levels in the game, the Jungle Awakens levels have about twice as many mobs. It's a noticeable difference and makes the spellbound crossbows just a bit more relevant. What's a bit frustrating about tracking down these weapons is the fact that the Jungle Awakens DLC doesn't actually matter when it comes to finding the dual crossbows. At this point, you can only find these unique items from the new Lower Temple level. If you haven't unlocked the Lower Temple, go ahead and check out our companion video already released on the channel. Now I saved the best new weapons for last, easily my favorite additions to the expansion, the new Battle Staff Uniques. Talk about style, the Battle Staff weapons feature a really cool attack pattern and are a healthy mix of power, speed, and area of effect. While they're not the fighter's bindings and probably won't change many hearts or minds, it's still the most interesting addition to the game. The first unique is called the Growing Staff and inflicts additional damage to wounded mobs. This is a fantastic unique effect to have when fighting tougher enemies throughout the jungle. Gone are the days of one-shot mobs, and you'll need a weapon like the Growing Staff to deal that additional damage on stronger enemies. The second unique is called the Battle Staff of Terror, and if you're looking for something with a bit more flash, this is definitely the weapon for you. Enemies killed by this weapon explode, dealing damage to any nearby foes. Again, with so many enemies packed into these levels, this is definitely not a bad weapon to consider. The explosion will come in handy, dealing extra damage when you need it most. Now, I'll admit I'm a bit frustrated with the Mojang team for not including the Battle Staff and Dual Crossbows in the Jungle Awakens maps. If you ask me, they're really stretching the developed content thin, and it's a bad look for a company that has no shortage of talent and money. Nevertheless, you can find the unique Battle Staffs in the Lower Temple. 
At this point, the data mined monkey motivator item we talked about before the DLC dropped didn't make it into the game. That was an item uncovered by our friend Nanakos and the Secret Finder community, but that doesn't mean it's gone for good. As with all evolving games, there's always a chance it could be added later, but if Mojang's track record is anything to go by, I'd say we probably won't see it until the next DLC, or perhaps not at all. I also want to point out that the blacksmith does not currently sell the new unique items. This is, of course, an attempt to get you to grind the new levels and dissuade anyone from spending their treasure troves of emeralds stored up before the DLC. With all the new uniques laid out in front of us, I want to know what gear you like. Leave us a comment below and share your thoughts, what you like, what you don't like, and what you want to see in the future. Don't forget, you can also join the Legion team on Discord. Our community of over 5,000 is growing stronger every day, so click that link below and join our incredible family. Also, if you want some awesome rewards and want to support Legion Gaming even more, check out our Patreon page. Patrons get access to our incredible Minecraft server with a custom-built Hunger Games map and much more planned for the future, so be sure to check that out. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.